Hello everybody. Welcome back to the RC Garage. Today we're going to be working on changing out the stock tactic receiver and the bouncer. I've been running the stock one because I don't have any extra electronics right now so I'll, I didn't need any more channels but we're going to be putting a winch on it shortly and maybe some lights so we'll need the extra channels. I'm going to go with a Fataba R 304 SB just got it in day before yesterday <clears throat> before we put it in the truck though I'm gonna be waterproofing it because the receiver housing I have isn't waterproof so we'll have to waterproof this and the way I'm gonna do that is with conformal coating I'm gonna pull the, ha the case apart Pull the board out and use silicone conformal coating. You can get this at Amazon, anywhere on the internet. It's I like it because it actually puts a coat of silicone over everything and you know that it's waterproof. It is a little bit more work than the other ways but it doesn't wear out as fast and you know it's coated because you can see it. Alright, we're going to get going. We're going to pull the casing off. It's really easy. You have four little tabs, two on each side that you pop off and then the case opens right up. off you got the board the board you just work it out slowly it's not glued in or bolted in or anything Pops right out. And there's your receiver. Now what I do is just use my helping hand tool. Lightly clip it on there. And then just take your conformal coating. Don't take much, just a couple coats. And just coat over the whole thing. Make sure you get the whole board covered. it's all dry and coated we'll put it back together and we'll throw it in the wraith all right guys we're back 
The receiver's pretty much dry now. I'm going to pull the old receiver out. And I want to check to see if, if the case will even fit in here. Because on the tactics receiver, I couldn't fit it inside the fuel cell with it in the case. So... We're going to go ahead and check that now before I put it back on the receiver. I don't think it's going to work with the case, so we'll have to do it without it. Everything's all sealed up now. While I'm working on the back, I might as well throw on some scale accessories that I picked up. What I got here is just a King Kong shackle from RC Four Wheel Drive. There's the part number and everything for you. Now I will have the part numbers in the description along with all the other pieces I use in today's video. Really don't need these because you can pretty much hook the tow rope anywhere on the chassis because it's all metal. But it will give me a few extra points in, in the competitions.
All right. A few scale points on there. I think that's going to be it for today, guys. Next time, if I have time to get paint, I'll be putting in my Scale Optima battery. I just need to paint the top yellow, and I don't have any more yellow paint. Then we'll get this mounted up, get a couple more scale points, and figure out what else we're going to do. Hopefully my winch comes in soon so we can get that installed and all wired up. But that's going to be it for today, guys. If you like the video, show your support by hitting that like button. If you want to see more of this build and future ones, then please subscribe. I'll see you all guys next time.